Hey, you're back. It's Amy with Ask a Christian. Today I want to answer the question, what are the Septuagint and the Vulgate? So the Septuagint is the Greek translation of the Hebrew Old Testament plus a couple other apocryphal books. The Apocrypha are books or writings that are accepted as historically valuable, but they don't have the same authority or authenticity that the early Christian church ascribed to some of those other scriptural writings. Now the Septuagint is not a single book, but a collection of early Greek writings done by different scribes over different time periods and likely different places. Now I love the legend of where the Septuagint got its name. The story of the letter of Aristius goes like this. There was a Ptolemaic king who wanted the Hebrew scriptures translated into Greek. So he sent out a call to Jerusalem and got six translators from every tribe of Israel to go to the Isle of the Pharaohs in order to translate the first five books of the Pentateuch. That is Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. The word Septuagint means 70, and it's a rounding down of those 72 original scholars who went to do the translation. Man, I feel bad for those two guys who got left out though. It would have been way cooler for them if it had been called the 72. So it's a good story, and even if it's true, we're still left wondering when and where and why were the other rest of the books translated. Well, the dating shows that it's usually between the 3rd and the 4th centuries when this translating was happening from Hebrew to Greek. Hebrew stopped being the everyday spoken language. So in summary, the Septuagint is the earliest collection of Hebrew being translated into Greek. So just a smidge on the Vulgate. Vulgate is the term that we use to refer to the Latin translation of the Bible put together in about the 4th century AD by early church father Jerome. Yes, just Jerome. Dude was super hip and his Latin name is way too long to pronounce. So before Jerome went to work on this translation in the late 300s AD, the Bible already existed in Latin. It was primarily all translated into Latin, but just like the Septuagint, there were different scribes with different styles and Jerome really wanted to unify the work. So Jerome was this super scholar. In fact, he spent about three decades traveling the world and going to the original sources of Greek and Hebrew manuscripts in order to combine them into this one readable current Latin Bible. In fact, that Gutenberg Bible that we all know and love was an edition of the Vulgate. All right, that's about it for today. So until your next question, joy and peace I wish for you on your journey, and I'll see you next time.